Okay, people. We're going up on our 10 by 3 on bench press. And we're doing 235. Like I said, we're going to plan on creeping our bench press, you know, back up there. Um, I had kind of a rant that I made last night about um, programming and reevaluating workouts, which I feel, you know, something it, it's something that everybody needs to do from time to time, especially when you feel something has gotten kind of um, messed up in your programming, so to speak. And what I'm going to be doing that's going to help things out more is, you know how I'm benching and squat, I mean, let me rephrase that. You know how I'm bench pressing twice a week. I'm going to keep that. Um, because that's what works. I'm going to have my squatting be at twice a week. And my conventional deadlifting be twice a week as well. Because I need to bring that lift back up. And I need to start working it in the lower rep schemes. And another thing that I've learned this week. Um, that's going to help me towards those goals of bringing up my big three total. And, like I said, the pause squat. In terms of squatting, I want to bring up my pause squat. That's still going to be the focus goal. So I'm going to be pause squatting twice a week. Um, conventional deadlifting twice a week. And benching twice a week. And on Wednesday, we're going to have that be a volume day of rows, shrugs, calves, and trap work. And some weighted carries because of the simple fact that I've realized when I reevaluated when I reevaluated my programming that I had too much junk volume. So that's a, a takeaway for you guys. When you design programs, if you think there's too much junk volume, like you're focusing on these compound lifts, and you know you feel like you're doing too much stuff after too much too many curls and you know little stuff, shrugs and jazz. Maybe have an accessory day for that. Maybe that's optimal. I think this is going to be a better um, adjustment that I'm making to programming because I'll have like a day for jump volume. Okay? I won't be like putting too much on those days that I should be focusing on the big lifts and the big lifts only. And the main goal. So that, that's the takeaway. There's, there's many different, like I said, I don't believe in perfect programming, but I think with this adjustment that I'm going to make, is going to be a very smart move because I won't be worrying about when I, on the days that I go and squat and deadlift, I'm not going to be worrying about rows and curls and shrugs. Okay, I'm going to have a day for those. I mean, there's pros and cons to working those other muscles, you know, multiple times a week, but this is an adjustment that we're going to make to our training, um, you know, just, just to see what kind of results we get. I think things are going to be a little bit more specific. And another thing that I learned is with those um, half field bugger and split squats. I'm going to keep those in rotation because I need to bring up my glutes. But I don't think I need to do five sets of 12 um, to, you know, really reach my goals. I think that doing a couple sets, you know, as like an accessory movement after squatting would probably be sufficient. No, no reason to do five sets of 12. I mean, fatigue doesn't always equal performance. That's another thing that a lot of people don't realize fatigue does not always equal performance. So, those are two takeaways. If you feel like you have too much junk volume in your programming, adjust it. If you feel like um, you're chasing fatigue rather than performance, adjust that as well so that you can focus on your primary, what your primary goals of programming are. That's just my, my rant on that. We'll get to this, um, this bench pressing here. If you guys have any questions, uh, that rant that I had last night was kind of, kind of stupid, but the takeaway was to write stuff down and reevaluate the programming. When, when you need to reevaluate it, when you see that there's obvious flaws. <laughs> oh, my glutes are still sore. I tell you.
hopefully I'm able to do a lower body movement tomorrow. That's set number one.